Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about copying and pasting. So the most basic way to copy and paste object is to pick the object like this, and there's under edit, there's copy and paste. And it'll duplicate the object, the exact same object in the exact same location. So let's say I want to make a, a stoma, for example. I can just copy and paste like this and move the top sphere like that, on top of it like this, and maybe scale it. Now, you can, uh, there's also a shortcut, as you can see. So Control C and Control V. So let's say, let's make this a three tier. So I'm just gonna control, press Control C, and to paste it, I'm gonna say Control V like this. I'm just going to move this to the top and just scale it like that to make a snowman. Now, um, there are also different ways to duplicate different objects. So let's say you have a vehicle like this and you want to duplicate it over to the other side. Now, there are a couple of ways to do this, but well, I guess the easiest way to do this would be to do a symmetry. However, with the symmetry, it's not a solid object. So basically, it's just a reflection that you see in a mirror. It, uh, you can't really modify it or touch it without touch affecting the surface. So let's say you want to add a gas cap and you want to add it to the other side, but with a gas cap, it only resides on one side of the car. So if you want to do that, all you have to do is let's just turn the symmetry off. I'm just going to pick everything like this. And I'm going to go to under edit. I'm going to say go to duplicate mirror. And I think the X the default is XZ plane. So basically which we, uh, it means that it's going to reflect around the XZ uh, plane, uh, a plane created by XZ axis. So I'm just gonna, I think this is the uh, axis that I want. So I'm just gonna say go, and we have the surface duplicated to the other side. Unlike a symmetry, this is an actual object. Okay, so one of the more common ways that we use um, duplicate is when you're creating wheels. So let's say you have a section of a wheel like this. What you can do is grab the wheel, the piece, um, just one piece like this, and I can, I'm going to combine a duplicate uh, mirror and duplicate object. So right now, this is just one side. So let me go like this, duplicate. So I'm going to say mirror, but instead of mirroring onto the other side, I'm just going to mirror itself based on this axis right here. So I'm gonna say duplicate mirror and instead of XZ, I'm gonna do YZ like this. Now when you duplicate it, it's gonna duplicate about the plane or the axis. So I'll have to, because um, the pivot is right here, so I'm just gonna move it over here like this. So now we have one set, uh, one set of the pie like this. So I'm just going to group this, you know, pick object, pick object, and I can either do Control G, or you can press Edit Group right here, like that. Okay, and I'm also going to when I'm duplicating because it's a wheel, I'm going to duplicate around this point. So I'm going to move the pivot right here, like that. And I'm gonna use duplicate object. So I'm just gonna click on the options box. So when you're creating a wheel, the number, I think this is a six spoke, I think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going, to, because it's a six spoke, but we already have one existing right here. So I'm gonna do six minus one, which is five. And I'm gonna for the rotation, now the translation, rotation, and scaling, this is all um, 
it's in the order of x axis y axis z axis now i need to revolve this or duplicate around the, the y axis because it's a wheel so i'm just going to say rotation i'm just going to do rotation no translation i'm just going to say 60 and i'm going to say go Oh, looks like this is actually a oh, five spoke. Never mind. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna say object. I'm gonna say four and I'm gonna say 72. 360 divided by five spoke, 72. I'm gonna hit go. And here it is, there's the wheel. So this is some of the copy and paste options that you can use in Alias. Okay, so that concludes this lesson, and thank you guys for watching.